Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Teachings of Joseph Question of the Week. We got so many questions by email, we decided to put them into a podcast and share them with everybody. Hopefully, it will answer some questions you may have too. So welcome aboard. Sit back, relax. Let's have some fun. Hi, everybody. Our question of the week comes from actually several people who want to know how physical illness is healed. It's interesting. Um, Kind of been bombarded with this question lately, so I figured I better do one of these. So some of these people have been sick for a long time, and some believe that they are just prone to sickness, and they're always you know, running to the doctor. They've always got something going on. So this question is answered like all others. And that is that all manifestations are vibrational first. And that includes our physical bodies. Our physical bodies are a creation of our physical reality, which manifests from the vibration you are creating from. So, if your dominant vibration is out of alignment, that perspective of thought, that vibrational summoning is creating out of alignment situations and circumstances. Not only in your reality of your day to day, but also in your body. I remember years ago when I was reading A Course in Miracles and Jesus was talking about the physical ailments and illness and he said, when you ask, it is always given. However, the symptoms, I'm paraphrasing here, the symptoms of the illness remain for a while because they are physical and are created in the physical realm of time. So we humans, all of a sudden, we don't believe that the healing was given because we don't see or experience it in the moment it was given. What is happening is the offering of a shift of perspective for you to create a new pathway, new momentum, and ultimately a new manifestation is being offered. That's what he means, because when you ask, it is given vibrationally. The in alignment vibration that you have called through your vibrational asking is given simultaneously in the vibrational non-physical realm. And as we continue to call to us to summon and focus upon the pure vibrations of love, we continue down that pathway of healing and we will experience the manifestation of that pathway we are creating through our focus and the momentum we build. You know, Joseph calls this evolving out of the realm of contrast, that vibrational timeline of contrast, where the illness can manifest from the out of alignment position of asking, right? So this is another reason why we encourage alignment first. Always focus on and choose from the space of alignment. Remember too that this space of alignment is not the fixer of your issues, regardless of what they are. They are always, and the issues is what I'm talking about, the issues are always in vibrational agreement with the vibration where you are creating from, okay? The space of alignment is the space, like all others, where you create something else, okay? When you're in alignment, there is nothing out of alignment. No coordinating creative components other than those of alignment. In other words, you cannot create illness from the space of alignment doesn't exist there because illness is out of alignment, right? You only experience health in the space of alignment. You experience loving manifestations of who you really are from the creative space of alignment, okay? 
When you are creating, you are focused on a pathway where you are creating momentum. You are summoning thoughts, like thoughts that are being drawn by way of the law of attraction, right? That are in alignment with that pathway. And you will experience the manifestations of the vibrations that are on that pathway. It's all of your choosing. So if you believe something or someone outside of yourself can make you sick, that pathway will deliver those vibrational components, beginning with the matching thoughts that are in agreement with that vibrational pathway, and they will always, always prove you right. And that's how we form beliefs, right? We say, well, I experienced it. Well, yes, because you created it, okay? This is where the perfection, again, of everything comes into play. The manifestations are always a perfect match to the vibration that created them. So again, don't get pissed off at your manifestations. Look at how you're creating and then shift if you don't like what you're creating. So if you believe what perhaps other are, others are telling you about what you should do with your body and you're taking instruction from them based on your beliefs, you will continue to create momentum from that particular vibrational pathway and you will experience the physical manifestations you are focused upon. This is always the creative process. The creative process is universal. It is held together by the universal laws, right? The, the universal truths. And it is a, only a shift only, I say only. It's a shift in perspective to go from illness to wellness. That's where it starts. That's the base of a new pathway. You know, Esther says there is only a stream of well-being, right? And this stream is the space of alignment. It is the lighthouse that Joseph represents, and it is constantly lit and providing the guidance we are always asking for. But when we are out of alignment, we cannot see that light and we cannot experience the well being because we are creating from a different perspective. And in this case, it is the perspective of the third dimension of contrast. Remember, we've been here forever right? Well, as far as we can remember. <laughs> so if you will go, if you haven't looked at the Human Pathway podcast that we did, this fits in here too. Because remember, the physical vibration we carry with us throughout our eternal physical evolution through the third dimension of contrast is one of contrast. It is more than not out of alignment. And this is why we are focused at this time on moving the human aspect into alignment completely. The collective you, that means all of the physical vibrations you have experienced while you've been playing around in the third dimension, right? We're at the precipice now. And this health, physical body thing is right in there with it because it is the creative process, okay? Our new belief system, the beliefs we will conjure and experience in the new earth experience, are beliefs that are in vibrational agreement with the pure loving vibration of our collective and individual soul. But in order to experience that vibration, that level of consciousness, as we move through this shift in consciousness, we must accommodate that perspective that has no fear. No beliefs, I'm going to continue to say this, no beliefs that you currently carry with you, regardless, and no matter how long you've been carrying them, where you got them from, doesn't matter. Any belief that was conjured in fear is in vibrational agreement with the vibration where it was created in the third dimension that makes them not in agreement with the new earth consciousness. And those beliefs are the, well, what currently is referred to as the door. You know, I keep hitting a door, I feel stuck. Well, your stuckness is resistance. 
okay your stuckness is resistance and the resistance is a belief in something that has a vibrational agreement with the third dimension of contrast okay all well and good because those beliefs we conjured while we were experiencing well we are experiencing the third dimension but in order to move forward we need to conjure new beliefs that will be in vibrational agreement with that consciousness that resistance um, those blocks we call them blocks right that is resistance and the resistance is the resistance to knowing more of who you really are that's what it is it's resistance to the expansion of your awareness right this is kind of a controversial conversation to have because there is so much evidence of illness however it's the evidence that makes its own case for the process of creation in that you are creating from the out of alignment position and you're experiencing it okay so again don't damn the manifestation what are you creating it's all up to you nobody can create your reality never it cannot happen because you are in total control of your vibration which of course is the foundation to everything that you make and it is perfection at its best right one client um, said to me last week I've been hearing this all my life but it just doesn't work just tell me how to do it <laughs> and I said to her that she has to shift her perspective to create a new manifestation and because of the evidence of illness that she's been carrying around for so long for all of us this is not an easy shift to make if we've been hanging out in the third dimension however it is the basis again the foundation for every single creation every one and that is the perspective you choose to create from if you are choosing to create from the perspective of your soul the perspective of who you really are you cannot create an out of alignment manifestation from that space just like you can't create an in alignment manifestation from the out of alignment position right I'm sure you've heard Esther say many times over that is old news if you look at what is it's old news it's already manifested right you've already created it right if you want to create something different you have to use different ingredients and the ingredients of your creation if you prefer this analogy are vibrations are thoughts think of your thoughts as the ingredients of your creations um, for all you artists out there and I know there are many who dabble some who make their living creating art you lucky dogs <laughs> I, I dabble a bit too you know so you know that if you want to um, create a painting a watercolor painting and you're you decide to use oils you're not going to get a watercolor painting again the ingredients the ingredients will be what you manifest so it's your thoughts it's your focus it's your perspective those are all vibrations if you have not read Anita Morjani's book dying to be me this is a perfect example of what we are talking about if you have read it read it again um, for those of you who don't know Anita had cancer for many many years she ultimately died and in her near-death experience she learned about choosing and choosing from the space of fear and when she came back to her physical body within a few weeks she was completely healed because of her shift in perspective that she got while she was up there it really doesn't matter not one iota what you are focusing on creating because all things are possible you can create anything you want the creative process is the same the creative process is the same now having said all of that the bottom line is if you want to experience wellness you must focus on the stream of well-being of your soul 
Your soul is holding that stream, that's universal stream of wellness, the space of alignment. And you do this by shifting your perspective to match that vibration and then focus on it. Intend, remember, intend, focus, create, and experience. And what eventually happens as you continue to shift and shift and shift and create anew by your intention, this new focus, the new pathway that you create will become your dominant creative vibration. Just like the out of alignment focus that we've had for so long has created the chaos we are now experiencing on the global level. It's all out of alignment. You can see it for yourself. I don't have to try to convince anybody. The evidence is clear, right? So I hope this helped. Thanks a lot for listening, everybody. If you have questions, email us at info at the teachings of Joseph, and we will get to them. I hope this has offered a new perspective with which to consider creating your next experience. We love you. Take good care. Thanks for listening, everybody. Join us again for the next question of the week with Joseph. Take good care.